Hello and welcome to the new video of Nati Education of Software Engineering. And today we are going to learn a new topic named as process models. So here it is written prescriptive process model. Now as we know the activities now we are done with the activities and everything. Now we need to learn the models through which the softwares are developed in the industries. So these are some models with the use of which the softwares are developed. So prescriptive process model divides into three parts. Number one is linear sequential model. Linear sequential model means as the name suggests everything goes in the sequence. Thereafter comes the incremental process model. It might be having some increments one after another and then evolutionary process model. Evolutionary process model has been evolved from something that we are going to learn in the next few videos. But this prescriptive process model is divided into three. And next few videos are going to be on this only. So it is just for learning purpose. Uh, nowhere in the book you are going to get this flowchart. This I have made for your learning purpose and understanding purpose that we there are three types of process models in that. There are some examples of process models. These are the examples of it. So in linear sequential model, that is in linear sequential process model, there is one model which gets into the criteria that is waterfall model and in incremental process model there is model named as incremental process model and another is RAD. In evolutionary process model there comes this prototype then spiral and then third is component development model. So these are the types of evolutionary one these are the incremental one and these are the, this is the linear sequential one. So this is just for the explanation purpose. Thank you.